everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I have a little bit of a mess here. Um, I am going to do a card for you today that features some of our designer series paper that is on sale. It's super cute and it's so easy. It's a project that we will be doing by the time this post it is a project that we have done at my in-person camp this month. Before I get going on the annual catalog, I want to remind you that the mini catalog, probably by the time this post this video if you have purchased from me since march a couple of times i've said may it's just because i get confused on my month it months if you've purchased from me since march of this year then you should have gotten tracking that has your tracking information for your catalog if you think that's you when you don't have tracking and it is tuesday or past let me know at this point in real life not in video time i'm still working on getting the last batch of them but the ones if you place an orange order in July. Those have gone out. So hopefully by Tuesday, they'll all be on their way to you. So if you don't have tracking, let me know. If you don't have a demonstrator and you would like a copy of the catalog, let me know. If it's been longer than March since you've purchased from me or well, or you've never had a catalog, then let me know that as well and we'll figure out how to get you one. If it's been longer than March, they do cost $5 to cover my shipping and my cost of the catalog. Um, but then you get a $5 credit. So here's a couple of, we'll do this one last. Here, in case you've missed any of them, these are all previews from the upcoming holiday catalog. I will have a catalog kickoff special. Really, where I can't talk today. Where you will get extra freebies and thank you gifts if you purchase from me. You can start purchasing from the catalog on the 4th. So my specials will be the 4th, 5th, and 6th. And there goes my cats because I'm not playing with them. They want to play and now they're going to fight each other. They don't really fight. It might sound awful on camera, but they're just, they're girls, you know? <laughs> so these are all up. You can see all of those. And then probably by the time this post, we will be almost to the end of early bird registration for my triad class. So if you see all this and you're like, oh, I wish I could have all the papers or see all the ribbons or play with all the embellishments, you can because I have a class that's called a triad class. And as the name implies, you get to try everything from the new catalog. So we'll do 10 projects together. There will be 10, um, 10 papers, seven embellishments, seven ribbons. They'll mix and match. We'll have an assortment of dies punches and folders. And so be watching for the registration on that. If you want to save $10, get in before the 20th. That's when registration closes for early bird. And it's more than, it's probably two, I haven't checked the numbers. It was over two thirds full the last time I checked. So today I am going to do a card that has a very little stamping, but it's completely adorable. And the fun thing about this card, the way they have designed the Lily Pond Lane Suite, you can stamp or you can build ducks, or you can cut out ducks. So there's three different ways. So you will have plenty of ducks for a lifetime of stamping with ducks. And they're just, the color combination is fabulous. So here's the stamps. So see, you can stamp and cut out the little frogs and the, the ducks. Or over here, you can build ducks. Where's, I'll open the dice to show you what I mean. See, there goes my cats. Well, I didn't put, maybe I put the dice back in here. So you can build ducks. And then you could color them or you can leave them white, however you want to do with those ducks. And there's also lily pads and cat tails, all kinds of things that you can build. Or the way I'm going to do the card today, because the designer series paper is on sale, I'm going to let the paper be the, use that for the ducks. So see, so you can cut them out. And sometimes over here, you're, you have to kind of look like, did they stamp it? Because you can stamp and then two-step stamp to get the color on top, or you can stamp and you can color it, or you can build your duck. And here they've cut out the fish. So th it's super cute. This is a card, this is already on my channel, so you can go see that. That is from a template in the front of the catalog, and on this one I chose to use a little frog. So let's get going on this. Hopefully, if I have to take a break to go discipline my felines, <laughs> I will do that. So we're going to start we're making this at camp and everybody's going to have a different piece of paper because you know when you have multiples of people doing things, um, sometimes you have to use different paper. So I'm going to use this for my background piece and then this one here is where I'm going to get my ducks. So I'm going to cut out the cattails. All the ducks don't cut out with dies, but you can always fussy cut those if you want. And then this one is this little guy here. Nope. <laughs> I think he's the one over here. Yes, they kind of look similar. This guy's this little one up here. 
got some attitude. And then we have this one. I think it's this one. Nope. This one. His mouth open. Whichever one this one. Yes. Mouth open. <laughs> I've cut enough out for them to give them in class. So those are the ones that cut out with the dies that you can finagle them. Like this one, you can. I think you could make it work. See, it's gonna have a little bit of excess white, white, but you can cut it out first and then kind of mess with it. The others, you can just hand trim. So I will cut those out in just a second. So that's where we're gonna use that piece at. And then I have some scraps here. So this is a scrap, we're gonna do this in a second. I have shimmered this piece of Lost Lagoon and it was laying on my table and it matched the card. And then I have, this is just going to be the only piece of regular card stuck in there and it's Smoky Slate. And then I have a little four and a quarter by one piece of this. And then we're gonna cut this down to be our background and I'm going to die cut into this. So the card, to get it to open the way I wanted, it is four and a quarter by 11. And I find a lot of times when you do that they're harder to fold on this grain. So I like to put them in my paper trimmer and since I'm gonna cut paper anyways, it was laying here. So I'll score that at five and a half. That gives it a nice crisp fold and it doesn't mess up the top. And there goes my dad. Then this piece here, it's going to show so I just need to think about it a minute before I cut it. So on my other one, I didn't do the whole entire piece. So I want it to be five and a quarter. I think my other one I did a little shorter and I'll show you why when I show you that card at the end. So here's five and a quarter, make sure I'm going the right direction. And so you could use these pieces then if you want because the paper is all just so cute. And then I want the ducks on here, but and I want these, the little lilies but it's gonna be four. So I'm gonna go this way first and take off some of, see, I'll still get some lilies. I'm gonna do it like this. So if we go four this way, that works. You can always do a little fractions at a time and then you have all this that you could use as well on another project. So now I have that. So mine, this one, my other one's a little bit smaller, like I said, and I'll show you, I just used a background piece on it. This is four by five and a quarter-ish. So it's gonna go layer in here. So I'm gonna cut out the, die cut the things in my paper and then it comes with this super fun die that cuts out the circle and that's why I have, have cut this because you'll be able to see it through. So let me run these through the die cut machine. All right, I've run that through and then it looks like all the state of my plate and <laughs> none of them came with. This one's just a really pretty pink background. It wouldn't even have to be ducks. There's several pieces in here like that. So we have this little guy. We have these. So let's take this and it pops right out. I did a back and a forth, but not all the way through. I never went past this because I didn't want to mess up my lovely crease. So we have this and then I'm going to take because I just love to shimmer some stuff. All about the shimmer these days. So if you don't know how to use this, it's a little solution that I have come up with and I have a whole video on how to shimmer things. And then I try not to shimmer every project <laughs> because they can't all be shimmered. But the ones that can, I like it. So I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna shimmer a little bit of the inside here just so this middle part has a little bit of sparkle. But I find sometimes on the designer series paper, if you leave some of it matte and then have that little bit of sh shimmer, it kind of highlights it. And I'm gonna take this. And again, I'm not gonna shimmer everything all the way on this, just parts. You can go to the other side. I'm gonna leave these not shimmered. And again, it'll cause them to be a fraction of a tiny bit of different color. Because the Wink Stella, you know, has a little bit of gold tinge to it. So we have that, the, this one was already, when I have solution like this left at the end of the day, I just pick up all the scraps that are on my table and I just shimmer them all and then it's perfect because you have some left. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this where I'm just gonna shimmer a part and not all of it. And that way you can kind of see the shimmer as opposed to the not shimmer. And the gray one on the inside is to kind of write your name because we're putting designer series paper, so I'm not gonna shimmer that. You could, you can write over the top of it. You can stamp over the top of it. So now we just have to put this together. I am going to hold this down since I went through the die cut machine, it's a little bit more popped up. So this goes on the inside. 
and then you can see you'll be able to just have those peek through. Just like that. So you kind of play with the, whatever piece you're putting back here. And I think at camp I gave them all the different ones so everybody's will look a little bit different. And then I'm gonna stick this here. And then I have my little shimmer piece here and out of the stamp set, I took the happy birthday. And I'm gonna use Whisper White. It kinda needs to be re <laughs> Should have done it before I filmed. Just put my happy birthday there. So it's not, I didn't want to use black on the card because there's no black on it. I thought about doing it in maybe peacock or something, but I kind of like the white. It's just nice and subtle. Add this here. And then this piece is for you to write your name on. This one, you wouldn't have to. So I'm not going to add it to this one because this one you can write your name down here. And if I put this here, I'm gonna cover up my lily pads. So this one doesn't need it. Then I'm gonna take my um, cattails. Just add a tiny bit of adhesive to those. And put them so they kind of fill in. It reminds me of when you know your kids are in school and you have to make the little, oh, now I can't think of the word. Taking a lot of migraine medicine this week and I forget words. It'll come to me as soon as I start filming, but you know what I mean. <laughs> There's the word, it's on the tip of my tongue. This one, I'm going to put some dimensionals on. Oh, I keep thinking the words like right there. I can remember doing them, you know, you didn't with dinosaurs in the old west. So this guy's gonna kind of stand up here. Whoops, nope, that's why I didn't press. That's where he is on my other one, but I don't have. I'm gonna put him down here. So when you open it up, it looks like he's walking on that. You know, <laughs> I don't like him there either, but I didn't press, so I can pick him back up. Where do we want to put him? I'm going to put him here and not have any on the back. I'll show you my other card. Cause again, we're playing with the placement of that. Put him kind of up there. So I'm making sure before I put my adhesive on that nothing is going to stick through the window. Otherwise, you'll glue your card shut. So that's going to go there. And this little guy's kind of hard to pick up. He's so cute, though. He's going to go here. And then I messed with a bunch of different ribbons. And you can tell there's not a whole lot of space on here because all of the in color ribbons, the colors go so well with this paper. But I went ended up with twine because it will get me some ribbon on here. But it's not going to cover up all of that design. So I've just cut a generous portion of the white. And this is out of the basics or essentials. And I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> strung up my duck there. I'm going to put it, let's go here first. And then I'm gonna cross these in the back. Do I have enough? I do just enough. Sometimes I'm like, if you measured it, <laughs> then you would not. I don't cut it too short very often. Of course, I always think I've been overly generous. When I do it for classes, then I measure. When I'm doing it for myself, I just cut and I'm like, well, this looks like this is a huge amount of ribbon. And then you see this and it's perfect, but the other one, I tied a bow. This one, I'm not gonna attempt the bow. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull these. And I have left a corner of this up because I would do, because this isn't attached to anything on the back. I'm gonna cut this short. I wanna make sure that it doesn't fall off the card. And so I'm gonna use right here to hold that down. So I'm gonna sandwich that there. And now it's not gonna slip off the card. Because sometimes when we stick them at the very bottom, there's not a whole lot of room left before you can lose the whole card. So there we have that. Now for the embellishments, these are the ones that are part of the suite. They are the adhesive back dappled dots. I love them. And on my other one, they're all down here. But look, I have this empty space up here. And this, these will all just be determined on how you do what paper you put on the back. So let's do a piece of 
peach pie. Gray granite, which is my favorite color. And then pretty in pink. So here's this one. So isn't that fun? And so easy. The only thing I stamped was the happy birthday. Hopefully you can see it. You can see it. Sometimes I know the white on the camera isn't great. So we have a super cute. And then here's the other one. So see the ducks back here because this is the paper that I used. Oh, and I never stuck that in there. I cut it, I didn't stick it in there. But you can stick this in, I'll do that now. So there's some place for you to sign your name or write your little greeting. And I did it four by, I think it's four by one. So they're both equally cute. You just kind of have to pan a, oh, it was almost there. A something, oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like going over to my computer and Googling the word. It's one of those things. It's not a panorama. Uh, the word's kind of there. <laughs> and there's no use in telling me in the comments because this is not live. I'm recording this and posting it next week. So you can see the little bit of shimmer on both of them. I didn't want it to be over, but you can see the water back here kind of glistening. So there you go. Remember, you can get this paper while it's on sale. Get the whole bundle. And let's see, you can stamp the end of summer with this beautiful, beautiful paper. Have a great one. Bye.